All right, fellas, just like back in the day when I was trying to kill a king, today I am going to try to kill the mafia boss. All I have to do is wait till right now and then jam this thing into his back and now I'm the mafia boss. All right, look at me. Got my little cane. Oh, hello. Hi, can I help you? She's going to poke me in the back. Hello? Did you just try to touch the mafia boss? I don't think so. You're going to prison for life. Okay, now we have a ghost. Uh, what do I do with this? Is the ghost, do I have to like look back? Do I, what do I do? Oh. I was possessed. Okay, now the police are here. I don't know what's happening. This guy's gonna try to, I don't think so. You can't touch the mafia boss. So I don't think I'm supposed to, oh. I don't think I was supposed to look at the ghost. Oh my goodness, there's still two left, okay. Bro, did you just try to beat me with a pair of handcuffs? That's not how those work. You can't just whip me with those. Those aren't nunchucks. Oh, I just narrowly avoided that channel on accident. Okay, walk the prison off for life. All right, what's this guy gonna do? What you gonna try to do that, bud? Karate chop me? I don't think so, bud. <laughs> Go to prison. You go to prison. That's prison for life. All right, just gonna casually stroll here. What do I do with this? What? I... I just did I? I got trampled by trumpet playing peoples. <laughs> I got an achievement for getting run over by trumpet people. What is this? It's a hint. Wait, what? What's the hint? Yeah, I know she exists. What's the hint though? Hello? What was the hint? All right, let's use our newfound knowledge here to become the mafia boss once again, but this time, not get caught. Watch this. Uh, freaking idiot. How did you not even see that coming, bro? All right, so don't look at ghosts. Look at trouble people. What is this guy doing? That's a full blown knife. Huh? Yeah, right out. Dude, the gargoyle head almost got me. This is a predicament I am in. This is a dangerous place. You're going to prison for life, by the way. Just letting you know that. Prison for life. All right, the police metal back. That's fine. I know how to handle these guys. And I don't think so. Prison for life, bud. I wonder if there's a way, if I just wait and be patient, if I can get all three cops at the same exact time. Should I try it? That seems risky. I don't think it's possible. I'm getting nervous. I got a little scared there. See that green bar at the top of the screen? I just have to make it to the exit door. Just don't, don't touch me. Okay, I'm noticing knives on the wall back there or something. Um, that has me concerned. Just ignore that. And live. You're, don't look at the ghost. Don't look at the ghost. Never look at the ghost. Never look at it. There we go. Now, now I keep my nice luxurious black hair. It's not white. Huh? Bro has a gold tooth. Where'd you get that gold tooth? Is that real? Let me see. You go to prison, bro. You're going to prison for life. Put him in a gulag. Lock the door, throw away the key. Anybody else want to try to poke me in the back? Don't you dare. Don't you freaking dare. I got places to be. Okay, what is this? My man, you dressing like me, kind of? You try to copy me? Why does everybody want to poke me? Get out of here. Scott, put him in prison. Okay, hold on. We're going to need a bigger prison at this rate. Are those skeletons the bodies of the people that I left in there from earlier? Okay, do I... Do I... What do I do here? I forget. I just... Don't touch me, you filthy, filthy lady. You have cooties. Stage six. I saw that. There's more and more skeletons added up in the dungeon every time someone... Ma'am, you just saw what happened to the last one. Is that a diamond in your hand? Can I have that? Idiot. Watch this. Look how many skeletons are down there. That's right. That place is haunted, by the way. See that? I got like 50 skeletons down here now. Okay, we are halfway. This guy has a gun. This guy has a gun. Okay. <laughs> We're halfway to the exit door. If my man would just walk a pinch faster, he's casually strolling along. Is that poison? I don't even... Uh, Dude. Okay. Missed that one. Come on. A little bit more. I see the chandelier on the top right. It's diggly dangling. I must not let that fall on me. I must do everything in my power to stop that from falling on me. That will end my life. I can't click it. Oh, you click on the chandelier. Okay, my man with the knife back. How did you get out of prison? Did you escape? I don't think. I don't think so. Prison for two lives now. 
Okay, my man with the gun is back. How did you get out? Is he, how are these guys getting out of prison? So, get into prison! You get out again? That's three prison lives for you now. I'm done. I'm done with this. Yo, I think I might make it to the exit door. I can't be positive, but I'm getting really close. Don't touch me, you with your filthy, gross hands. I saw you use the bathroom earlier today, and you do not wash. Why is my hair getting gray? I'm getting old. I've been walking through this hallway for so freaking long. My hair is turning gray. I have wrinkles now. I'm stressed out from everybody trying to kill me. No! I said I was stressed out. Leave me alone. I'm stressed out today. Let me be me. Did my hair just go from gray to white? Guys, the door is like literally seconds away. It's right there. What happens when I walk out the door? What's out there? Had a long life. Okay, so I made it to the exit, but I had a heart attack when I went through the door. Is there another way to do this? Can I get to the door without having a heart attack? Is there some sort of secret that I'm missing here? Let me stab this guy in the face. Get him out of the way. I got to start making my walk. Okay, so I'm headed towards the door now. Surely there's like a secret or something that I can do. The gargoyle. The gargoyle. Guys, the gargoyle. The gargoyle. What do I do? It's good. Okay, that's what you do. All right, go ahead. Take that poke. Go to jail. You go to prison for life. That's no big deal. There's got to be like a secret here. Something we can do to prolong my life. A ghost would be not the secret here. Do not look at this. Unless, do I? No. No. I'm going to let this guy stab me in the back. I want to see what happens here. I don't understand what just happened. So some of these people are nice, and some of these people are evil. This guy's clearly evil, right? Surely I don't let him shoot me, unless... Oh. Wait, I'm this guy now. Wait a minute. What is happening? So now I have to stab this guy. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Now I have to stab this guy, and then I become him, and he has a shorter beard. Which means less gray hairs will form. Just kidding, my hair is back. My eyebrows are thicker than ever. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna see if all three of them put their hands up. They do. Life imprisonment. Oh no, I'm going to jail for life. That's, that's not good. So there are things here that we can do to prolong our life. Like this guy, he gonna kiss my ring. I don't know what that does. Okay. Okay, so we know Yellow Hair Man kisses the ring. Ooh, jeez, I almost missed that one. We know this guy probably stabs you in the back because he's holding a knife and he's winding up. And I'm not gonna let him do that to me. No, I don't think so. Get that out of my... Where am I? Am I in a castle? Now, I'm gonna let this guy give me a potion here. This might be like a life prolonging potion here. Yes, I'd like some of that. Hello? It's poison. Dude, don't drink it. You saw the poison cloud. You deserve to die. I got killed by poison. Yes. All right. We know 100% that that gun is loaded and dangerous. So we we sent him to prison for six lives. He go on six lives. I threw 20 people in jail so far. That's 20 life sentences plus his six. That's 26 life sentences my man got. Uh, I don't think so, bud. That's 40 years in prison. This is going to be 77 years in prison for life. You are going to prison for 84 years. Good luck. Do I let this man poke me in the back? I'm going to let this man poke me in the back after the chandelier almost kills me. Go ahead and give me a poke. Hello. How are you? Shaking hands. Nice to meet you, sir. Enjoy your afternoon, okay? I'm going to let this lady poke me in the back because she has... Blush. <laughs> Everything is going my way today. I'm having a lovely afternoon. I'm going to let this lady also poke me in the back. Hello. Do I also get a kiss? She looks evil. <gasps> <gasps> this is not what I was expecting my day to turn into. Oh, it said I cheated. So, the and then I turn. <laughs> okay. So I think what we're supposed to do is pinpoint who's evil, who's not, and only send the evil people to jail. 
So there's a chance that one of the police officers are actually good and they would not put me in prison. The only way to find out which police officer would be good though, would be to try it one at a time. And we know the first police officer bad. I'm gonna get my kiss here. How you doing? Um, did you wash your face today? Okay, that's good. Thank you. We know this guy is a nice gentleman who will shake my hand. Go ahead and let that happen. I think by doing this, it delays my age. By handshaking that man right there, I walk one centimeter quicker to the exit door, thus getting there before old age has kicked in. You are going to prison for 90, 10 years. Which one of these police officers look like good people? Not the first guy. We know that. The second guy though, he looks like a stand-up fellow. I don't know, he looks like he wants to, you know what, I'm thinking actually, I'm thinking all these people are bad except the third guy. Look, he's not even carrying anything. He looks scared. This guy should be scared. This guy, he looking mean, but maybe it's okay. Let's see. None of the police officers are good. Just for scientific purposes here, we have to rule out that the middle cop is in fact bad. He is indeed bad. That is going to be 617 years in prison, sir. And now that we know who's good and who's bad, we can make our way towards the final exit and hopefully not have a heart attack on our way there. Sorry, sir. There was a gargoyle up there. I had to do that. Kiss my ring, sir. Minus 14 years in prison for you. Mr. Gun, is it? Yeah, pick that gun up and slowly point it at my spinal cord. That's going to be 1,000 years in prison. I would send this ghost to prison, but I don't know how that would be possible. So I'm going to just ignore it. Kiss my ring. No, wait. Handshake me, you fine, fine gentleman. Okay. Nice little handshake there. And now we part ways. He's walking to the other door. There's a door to the left, probably. Alrighty, the three evil police officers are here. That's going to be 7,000 years in prison. Good luck. You get 6,900 years in prison. Tell the other guy he was unlucky. We just gonna chop off your head. You don't go to prison, you just die. All right, my wife is now here and she's looking fantastic with her little dingly earrings there. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> if I see the other lady, I will send her away though. I will keep my marriage intact here. No, absolutely not. No, I don't care how big that diamond is on your waist get it out of here my hair still looking gorgeous as always do not dare four million six hundred and seventy two years of prison i don't think so i don't think so get that nonsense out of here oh great i, I try to chop off the little dude's head how he get out of prison hey oh uh oh hold up dude what they have been practicing. They have learned the ways. Okay, I gotta be more patient. Yeah, you better cry because that's another 10 trillion years. Good luck. Next person who tries to take me out, one gazillion years. Oh, that sucks for you, bud. Sorry to hear that. You can't hang out with the rest of the dead bodies in there. Sir, this time, not only do I cut off your head, I also cut off all your legs and your arms and your torso and your waist. And your fingers. Yeah. My hair, still glistening. A black, shiny, dark black color here. Glistening, and the door opens. I don't have a heart attack. And I gander on out of there. <laughs> and there, did not see this coming, honestly. Cruel fate, save everyone but got betrayed. All right, I'm gonna play this one a little bit differently here. Someone betrayed me. Who would it have been? It was the guy who shook my hand. He's the betrayer, not this guy. This guy's cool. Let this guy live. Because he kisses the ring, the handshaker shakes my hand, and the girlfriend kisses me. However, the person missing at the table at the end was the handshaker. He is the culprit. It's this guy. I know your dirty deeds. I know who you are. Prison for infinity years. 
So far, I've done everything exactly the same. I've let her kiss me. I've let the guy kiss my ring. I've killed the guy who handshook me though. Fellas, join me as I nonchalantly ganter my way towards the exit door to have dinner with my wife and my best friend and not get shot in the face today. All hail the dawn. There's one more thing we can try to do here. We can kill my wife, kill my best friend, and kill the betrayer, and then hit the door. I'm sorry I have to do this to you, wife. I've loved you all my life. You go to prison. 32 years. No big deal. Mr. Handshaker, prison for nine trillion gazillion years because you are the betrayer and you shot me in the face earlier. I cannot allow this to stand. The only person I am going to allow to touch me is the lady with the blonde hair. Sometimes we have to stop and ask ourselves, is this the life we really want to be living where we just walk down an endless hallway, sending people to prison for life? My gut is telling me that this is the life that I do want to live. Okay, this is what I want to know. Since my wife is technically dead in prison, is this okay? Is this allowed? I feel like this is a... Are you kidding me? She has the gem of wisdom. So if they have that giant gem, it means she a witch. So how would I make it to the end of the game if I don't have anybody that can help me? I almost wonder if there's somebody else here that's good. Does this hurt? That... That hurts. Okay. And that resets the timer. Because if I just send everybody to jail, I'll just turn old before I get to the exit. I need someone who's nice to keep my age rejuvenized. These people are not nice. No! Get out of here. Okay, so I have to send my prison to wife. We're only going to do... I misclicked. I mean, so far, I've sent everyone, even my wife, to prison to be put down to death. But soon, old age will kick in rapidly. This guy has to go to prison. It was in the clues. Sorry, the clues demand it. Prison for life. I'm almost there, fellas. I am about one fourth or three fourths the way there. I have a lot of bodies showing up here. My hair is still glistening black like a shoe polished, freshly polished shoe. I'm sorry. It's prison for life. Times six hundred forever. Keep her in there forever. Wait till she turns the bones. And then leave her in there longer too. My hair has gotten gray streaks from all the stress of people trying to stab me and shoot me in the back. Will I make it there before my hair turns completely white and I have a heart attack? I honestly don't know. Nope, my hair has turned gray. Should I do it now? Like, is it gonna just, what happens if I do it now? Will it turn back to black? I, I, I'm just gonna, now I'm white haired again. See, now what do I do? I'm just gonna have a heart attack. There's something here that I'm missing that I don't quite understand. And he's going to... Yeah. There's only one more thing I can try. When I get close to the door, I'm going to accept the spooky ghost. But only when I'm gray-haired and about to have a heart attack will I look. As for everyone else that's going to prison for freaking life, and this time I mean it. If you, if you sneak out, it's over. We're getting a divorce. Okay, we're getting close to the door. My hair looking like a finely greased, fresh pair of shoes. Can I get both of these? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I am old now. Everybody has been sent to prison. Everybody. And if a ghost appears, I will allow it. Wait, I, I, the ghost isn't gonna appear. I'm gonna let her do this. Maybe she'll give me a kiss this time. I don't know if it's random or what. Maybe sometimes she kiss you and she turn you younger. I don't understand. If you guys know how to make it to the exit while killing these three, wait, these three people, please let me know.